What's up guys, welcome back to another 36 drift build. Today we're going to be doing the first mod to it, but we're going to be making some door cards for it. We've got some cardboard to make the templates out of, and we're going to be making the door cards out of some thin hardwood, just because, what well, was the cheapest thing that I could find. I was going to make them out of aluminium, but it was like £35 for a sheet, and this was like £6. But some rib nuts and just some paint and some some bolts quite an easy job as all of you know this is this this whole build is going to be done on a budget so we're going to do everything as cheap as we can and as we're doing everything ourselves just do it as easy as we can really ross is coming down in a minute once he gets here we'll start working on it so i'm going to start by trying to make a template out of this i don't know quite how i'm going to do it but we'll see we'll figure it out i think next week we might be doing these so we've got some Upgraded polyurethane uh, gearbox mounts, a new Guibo center, well, whatever you want to call it, prop shaft cush, and we've got a new center bit, uh, center bend for the prop shaft. Not a fun job, but we're gonna have to do it because the gear knob's shaking all over the place. Just gonna roughly line it up, trim it a bit, and then just make a rough outline first, and then we'll trim it down better once I've cut that bit out because it's quite hard to work with the massive bit. Look who arrived, Mr. Baldy. <laughs> Cover that up. <laughs> right, so we've roughly marked it out. Ross bring in the treats. Gee, they're as big as you, mate. <laughs> you put a whole cow in. Got it all cut out, ready for the template. Just need to put it on wood now. Just lining it up on the cardboard now. I thought I bought two meters, but it turns out I didn't, so... <laughs> We're going to have to buy another sheet, because it's not quite long enough to do two. But we're going to mark it all out now, and then cut it out. Right, so we was going to use the uh, the rib nuts, but we've decided to go with self tappers. So it's just a lot easier. So we just ran to the store, got some of them. Um, we've mocked it all up now, and we put some self tappers in just to make sure it's correct. And now we're just going to use it as a template for the other side. We just obviously reversed it and then cut that one out. So they're all cut out now. They don't look too bad. We're just cleaning up the edges a bit with the file. Turned out not too bad, to be fair. Not perfect, but good job. Ignore that. We're just going to rivet them on so the holes are there, and then once we know where it's going to go, we're going to take it off and paint it. Get in there, then. So satisfying putting these in, I don't know why. There's a metal there. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be careful where you put them because they don't close. We're using a bit of tape to mark where the bottom is because we've made the mistake of putting in the screw at the bottom and then you can't close the door. over this area, I think. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. It was going in, it's just sliding up. Just a tighter seal with that one. But it does the job. It looks a bit funky, then, but we can put a sticker down there to cover it up. <laughs> it's time to paint it. Do you want to paint, Paulina? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we're just going to put some paint on them now. Just, we've got some cheap. I don't even know if this is going to work. It was the cheapest pot of paint there was. It's for masonry, but oh well, hopefully it works on wood. No idea. We'll soon find out. I think they'll look better in black than that. We were going to wrap them in some fabric, but cheaper. <laughs> we might eventually wrap them in something weird, but for now this will do. Look at you getting all gloved up. You look excited. <laughs> oh yeah. 
that nose. <laughs> you can't speak, mate. Look at that nose, mate. Jesus. Oh. God's gift, mate. Look at that. That's proper dark, isn't it? <laughs> you want to smell it? <laughs> it? Smells strong, actually. Ignore, ignore this bit. <laughs> oh, messed it up, Ross. <laughs> it's not even rolling. Is it? <laughs> Did you put the roller on the wrong? You put the roller on the wrong way. Right? It's not, I know. Hold it. Oh, yeah. Sick. It looks kind of like suede, doesn't it? Like Alcantara. -y. Kind of a cool look. You watch it, it'll dry and then it'll just all peel off or go in our arm or something. Alright, we'll update you once these are done. That's my one crack. You lost their Mondays, mate. So they turned out quite good. Just rolled them on. Don't look too bad, do they? Simply lovely. Simply lovely. It's got like. It kind of looks a bit like as if it is Alcantari from the effect of the roller. It's quite cool. I've also got these little straps because otherwise you won't be able to open the door so I'm just going to put it through one of these. Looks not bad, does it? Doesn't look too bad. The little strap, it closes all right, it's just, it's a bit of a tight squeeze, so I think the extra layer, I don't know, but it does the job, looks nice, much better than if it didn't have the door cards on, that's for sure. The hole isn't the most perfect hole, but it does the job. Let's get the other side on. way hotter than I expected, I just took a massive <laughs> gulp. The other side on, it's pretty nice, turned out pretty well. <laughs> oh, I just snuffed it over. Stop zooming in my nose. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't until you said it. Also changed, changed the, the camshaft sensor and I changed the crank sensor and now I've got to do the, uh, what's it called, the air intake temperature sensor which is a pain on this because it's right underneath the throttle body so I have to take all of this out but that's I'll probably do that one day next week I'm gonna be removing all of the air con come on someone buy these wheels <laughs> we need to get rid of them going <laughs> cheap yeah we might even pay you to take them away <laughs> no, the scrappy will take them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm quite happy with how they turned out probably cost about uh, two sheets of wood uh, like six pounds twelve pounds I don't know, say like 25, 30 pounds for the whole lot. Not bad. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more of the build. We've got so much more to do on it. I think the next thing we do, it may be fitting the prop shaft cushion, upgraded um, bushings and everything. Then we need to fit the hydro and fit the bucket seats. I need to make some subframes for them. And what else do we need to do? Oh yeah, we need to fit the coilovers. So much to do. <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait to go out skidding this thing. Thank you for watching.